okay in this tutorial we are going to create a CSS based drop down menu based on HTML here we are not going to use JavaScript or any scripting technology like jQuery for applying the effects we will simply use cascading style seeds to give the effect of drop down like we have menus in our windows project and application like this so let's start here we can use any id or text editor like notepad in case of windows platform or gedit in case of linux platform any editor you can use as we have to just key in some html and some H uh, css that we have to type in the html or we can use external also so let's minimize this welcome screen and start here in this case as uh, you can see we have a clips or it's not required here as no concept of web server or dynamic menu or thing we are going to deal with it's simple static content that we have to type okay so create a project here new dynamic project let's select it finish and type in the name like say menu project okay no matter what is the integration of web server or thing you can simply click as you can create html file and see that okay let's start in the web content then we are going to create a new JSON file let's call it my menu okay and hit finish see here in case of my menu dot jsp file we will have some sample content generated by id here we are going to first write some html in order to generate the hierarchy of this menu uh, i will use simple unordered list ul tag followed by li list tag in this list tag i am going to use anchor tag in order to provide some links for the menu item like for home you can put some href value here like a page home page address or kind of for now it will be blank home and copy it and paste it for saving time like like say next menu is product and third menu i'm going to have here is going to be start okay so we have three menus over here uh, now we need to create the sub menu inside these menus so inside li i am further going to create an order list ul and there again i will have some sub menu or sub options like say add product and let's say search in case of cart similarly i would like to have some sub menus so i add unordered list ul and just add some li tag over here also in case of cart i add some option like so cart checkout and billing options fine let's save it for now and check one output for the html that we have written so far so i am running it on server in case of red beans or other id is may write or no comment of web server is here you can simply write in html files separate.html extension and this double click and give the output from the generated file so running this file now uh, it's going to be about that okay so from cat server is started uh, let's see the output here okay so this is the layout home product card i was talking about product contains sub option like add product search and cart contains so cart checkout billing but this is not the layout we want we want it to be in kind of menu type and the sub menu menus can be displayed when we hover our mouse or move our mouse over the main menu item so let's change the look and feel applying css over here so when we we'll write css basically we can have internal css in the head section here or we can have an external file containing all the css definitions and saving it in the file with dot css extension and that file can be linked to our html for more than one file if you have and want the same look and feel then we use text css here we use the internal css starting with the style definition and let's say we have ul unordered list element and i want to define it configuration so i say here display it in terms of block okay margin is going to be zero point and simply padding for this element is zero let's save it so far and just come to the view and press it so the complete element you can see is aligned over here to the left actually the thing is when i say display block it means for unordered list or paragraph or it's going to be a div tag for those tag we can display them as block or kind of boxes type where we can apply the effect of moving them positioning them on the screen anywhere we want like in case of general text if you have text content you can specify the alignment as left right or center here for the element uh, for which we have specified display type to be block that is like a box kind of thing it should be displayed each element over here can be placed to in two different position by specifying its float property float can be left or it can be right or if you do specify float property by default it is going to be none what is this none means it means that all the element which are displayed as blocks first block second block third block will be placed in the same order as they are appearing in the 
DM hierarchy when they have been declared in the HTML like this home product product followed by add product you can see your home product add product search card this is the way you have declared the element in HTML and in the same way they appear in the output if you haven't specified float property but if you specify the float property they will appear accordingly like left or right and we are going to do it in the next section after ul i have ul containing types list tag you can see here ul is here it is further containing li's home product and car is a three li tag inside ul i see for these li what exactly need to be done is put of uh, i means the alignment that we have in text is here in case of block display we have float property float should be of type left just save it and do it okay see here all the block elements like home product card further containing add product so card and checkout billing option are aligned left one left one to other like for example first is here next element will not come at the place where it has been declared in the dom hierarchy but it will come left to the first one next come the second one third one fourth one likewise if you specify right all element will be aligned from right to left you want to check you can just specify it right save it and you see here home then product will come from right to left i just refresh it and this is the layout home then product then card when similarly all the sub items are displayed but exactly it means that uh, when you have displayed the elements in blocks in boxes you can specify its position on the screen from left right or from right to left if you don't specify it it is going to be none the flow property and all element will be displayed in the same way it is declared in the document so we have specified the code property for our li but thing is when we have initially displayed these menu uh, the sub menu should not be appearing over here what we need to do for it here is that we simply need to specify ul unordered list containing list and list further containing unordered list ul containing li and li containing ul so you write ul li ul it means you are defining the effects of the css over the element ul that has that is declared inside li of further ul ul containing li li containing ul ul li ul so what we need here initially it should not be displayed so i say display none i save it and now you refresh it you see the sub menu is not here okay uh, so let's see here uh, one more thing you can say dot dot it is uh, appearing due to the list style property of the element that have been specified or assigned by default for list item li tags by default display set to this type of list type dot is why a kind of list things appears before them so in this ul li we can specify it further as display it as block and save it here and just refresh it okay you can see this dot property in this list type property is made uh disappeared over here so display block will display all the element even not ul li contained inside ul are displayed as blocks now okay now the thing is we have disappeared those menu but when we hover our mouse or move our mouse over this main menus the sub menu should appear here but the thing is ul containing li and there is a property in css called hover when you specify it you just mean that you have unordered list containing li and you are hovering the mouse over those li like ul containing li is home product and card when you are hovering your mouse over these three menus what will be the effect that should happen on ul and ordered list inside this li immediately inside this li like we have ul here and inside the top level of li we have a ul here on these two the effect should be like earlier i said initially the display should be none but when it is hovered it should be displayed and i mean to say display it in terms of block like you have displayed but that's done so refresh it once again and just hover the mouse here see here the elements are appearing but again one thing is here that these elements are appearing here next to each other from left to right why this is because earlier we have specified for the li tag inside ul there simply float uh, property should be set left here we have specified ul containing li anywhere in the document ul containing li float should be left here we have ul containing li add product and search so card all have set their float property to left but for this sub menu only we want this float property to be none in case of none they will appear in the same way they have been declared in the html from top to bottom so here one more tag like we have ul li over ul we say here ul li you hover over it ul further containing li it means we have unordered list this one at the top okay it is containing li home product and card if you hover your mouse over it it further contains ul and in that ul if there is li its display i want to be of property its 
flow sorry should be of none type why none if it is not none if it is left or right the element will appear from left to right like it is appearing right now left to right if i send none the sub menu element this will appear from top to bottom so i made a failure here save it coming back here and this i need to refresh it and now you can see product sub menus are aligned from top to bottom but it is not like a menu we want to have here some display property need to be assigned over here in css to make it or to give it a full look and feel of the menu so we need to apply some design design and formatting kind of thing here so where we have the text we have text here in anchor tag so ul containing li and it is further containing anchor ul containing i and it is further containing anchors for that i specify some design kind of rules and things so i say first of all text decoration property should be set to none okay that means it should not have underlines over here then i say color format background let's say it is going to be red and four color i put over here white the same it here come back to the display options and refresh okay so you have this menu and things appearing like this okay now again making it further looking better we say it should also be displayed in terms of block and there should be some kind of margin and padding gapping over specified over here so i specify padding over here uh padding should be like 5 pixel from top 15 pixel from right again 5 pixel from bottom and 15 pixel from left actually the padding property when you are specifying separated by space it is counted counter clock clockwise top then it is moving to right bottom and left like i specified 5 pixel means the current element will have 5 pixel of distance from top then 15 pixel from right 5 again from the bottom and 15 from left this is counter clockwise specification that i have specified here so just save it here and refresh the main okay so now it is looking a bit better but still i want to make it give it a feel of like a kind of separation should be there in terms of menu so like i say here uh, let's say margin from top i specify 1 pixel and margin from left i specify 1 pixel to give it more detail and again click here and see refresh a little bit to see here a kind of difference here like it's good looking now kind of menu a uh, few things to note here again uh, like when you are hovering the mouse i want to make uh, color change for the different menus like i am pointing here and the menu that i am right now pointing to i want its color to be change like uh, it should display that this kind menu you are at okay so for that ul containing li a over like for li we specified earlier when you are at anchor tag containing the text and you are hovering your mouse over it this one property means few property like you know, background color we make the thing to show that this is the current selected element okay uh, to one more thing like blocking in the text making it bold or kind of things you can do but this is just indicating when you are bring the mouse over the current menu item it will be changing its color to indicate that this current menu is what we are look here now it looks more bold here now the product we have part we have so this are the things this is the simple menu we have created using html and css but the more if you want to improve it you can do lot of applying the css effect and things and you can understand it yourself uh, applying some menus for the sub menu if you have more menu inside this one then you have ul inside li you are containing ul and again li containing ul and you can apply effects and things so this is how we create simple css based drop down menu and okay or 